Hey y'all, welcome to the Messy Studio. Come on in and see what's going on. In this episode, I'm going to make this. Sorry, it's not a turning, but paying customers come first. I did get my lights hung. That helped a lot with the light inside here with the doors closed. So we got that for future videos. Put the profile bit in and I'll start working on this sign. Make sure you stay tuned at the end of the video for a little sneak peek at the next project. I'm carving a different wood this time. It's Pecky Cypress. I, close, I chose a relatively clear section for this sign that doesn't have too much peck in it. Peck meaning the stuff that, the bits of it that rotted out while it was underwater. This other side is relatively clear. Billy, how do you, how do you know how deep to cut? Well, I don't. I just eyeball it. For this one, everything's going to be the same depth, which is about what I've got right now. It looks to be either 3 sixteenths, maybe a little bit more, not quite a quarter though, I don't think. I don't have a ruler handy to throw up there. I've got to plug it in. It don't work too good without electricity. All right, let's get started. What I'm gonna do first, so I don't mess it up, this outside black border is what I'm gonna cut out on the bandsaw. The inside black border is actually gonna be the border. I'm gonna cut the letters first. Remember what I said the other day? Got to use my hearing protectors. This cypress has kind of a different grain, obviously. <clears throat> it's got a tougher grain structure than the pine that I've been working with. It grabbed the bit a couple of times and drug it on me. I think we'll be all right though. I'm gonna have some edges to clean up once I get the tape off, but I won't be able to see those until then. This is a pretty simple carving, really. Almost done, and I got one runaway. Yeah. I've got a wide enough hole here. I think I can go with my 90 degree for the background instead of the 60 degree. Yeah, I was right. I'm right between 3 sixteenths and a quarter, right at 7 30 seconds. Oops. It's tight enough, Billy. I'm going to start on the background. Plug me in. some hot spots to knock that. This cypress has been dry for at least 20 years, but it cuts like it's wet. It doesn't cut like it's wet, it clings like it's wet.
it went through in a couple of places. You can see the light now. The decision is whether or not to try to fill them. I could easily enough just to the surface in here and then recarve it because I'm going to color it black anyway. I can use wood filler since it's just going to be painted. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up some wood filler and fill these. Okay, I peeled the letters off. I went over and did some more fine tuning around the letters <clears throat> and I cut the shape out on the bandsaw, sanded it on my oscillating spindle sander. I left this flat because that's what's going to be glued to the, the base when I get it made. And I'll sand it at a slight angle so this doesn't just stand straight up, it'll lean back at probably about 10 degrees. So, what we need to do now is take the tape off of here so I can actually see my edges and do the edge refinement around the border where I've got like little nicks and stuff. I need to smooth those out. There are a few. There ain't many. There ain't. There ain't many. Boy, you can tell I'm college educated. I have discovered one thing in this process and that's as, as pretty as picky cypress is I do not ever want to carve this again now if I was manually carving using the chip tools it might be different you know if I was doing chip carving <clears throat> this stuff I've had it in my possession for 15 years it was on a wall in a house for 20-30 years before that so I know it's dry it doesn't carve like it's wet, but the sawdust that comes off of it comes off like it's wet. It sticks to inside itself, it sticks to everything. Now I'm going to sand it up, spray sanding sealer on it, or wipe sanding sealer on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. And let that dry after I clean all of this, blow this stuff out and get every, all the fuzzies out. Then I'm going to come back in after, I, after that dries and I'm going to shoot this black because the background is going to be black. And then I'll sand all this surface off and then start painting. So, I'll come back then. Just want to make sure I'm getting good coverage inside because all this surface is going to be sanded off once this dries. I'm using paint and primer. This happens to be Krylon. I love Krylon. The tips don't clog on me like Rust-Oleum. Alright, I'll let this dry for an hour or so and come back and sand it off. Okay, let's get this sanded off and see what we got. That'll do. I'd sand it a little harder if I was going to leave this natural wood. But since I'm going to paint over these letters anyway, I think we're good. So, let's start having fun. That was sarcasm, by the way. He told me his favorite colors, or favorite color, was chocolate burnt orange. Now, I understand the burnt orange part. That's the University of Texas. But I ain't never heard of chocolate burnt orange. Have any of y'all? I don't think so. So, what I'm gonna did, I had burnt umber. Well, it's raw umber, but it's close enough. And I had burnt sienna, but I didn't think I did. And I bought burnt orange. So, what I'm gonna do is get sidetracked here and clean the fuzzies off. <laughs> I'm going to chamfer these edges and I need to do that before I sand. I mean, before I paint. Let me get my chamfer bit on here.
Right ho! Let's try this again. So what I'm going to do, this pattern that I went from is dark in the middle light on the outside. I'm going to keep that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the burnt sienna, which is darker, in the middle. And I'm going to use the burnt orange on the outside. And then I'm going to use raw umber, which is basically chocolate, on the frame. And then I'm going to try to blend the burnt sienna and the burnt orange together. object is keep the paint on the letters, not on the background, stupid. I don't know if this is even going to work or I'm going to screw it up. Note to self, when shaking a bottle of acrylic paint with a flip top lid, like this one, Keep your finger on the lid. I didn't and paint flew everywhere. Thankfully it didn't land on the sign. And then when I opened it, it exploded. Call me Avalito Grande. <laughs> well, I'm ready for the trick or treaters tonight. Y'all be safe. Alrighty then. I've covered all the whites, the light spots. So let's just dry overnight. Come back, sand the angle, shoot it with clear polyurethane, sand the back of this off, and make the bottom piece. We'll be back tomorrow. Okay, I've got the base cut and shaped. I need to chamfer the edges and then I'll sand it up. I've still got my chamfer bit in and set up from last time. I could spray this and be faster. Okay, once this dries, I'll turn it over, sand the back one more time, and then 
I'll mount, 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 mount the sign to it. And I'll be back when that, when I'm ready to did that. Got my marks figured out. I guess I should be zoomed out. Zoomed out? You zoom in, stupid. Because I'm doing a lot of work. Chest high and you can't see me. I get to concentrating on what I'm doing and I forget all about y'all. And I'm sorry, it's not intentional. It really isn't. Get any. I'll let that set up about 15 minutes and drive those screws home. And then once I get the screws on it, I can paint it. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna spray it. I'm gonna brush it, and I'll be back. I think that'll get the job done. So I've been sitting here putting this first coat of finish on and talking to y'all like I had hit the record button. Apparently, I didn't. The fat boy's memory strikes again. <clears throat> anyway, got my first coat of finish on both sides. I'll let this first coat dry for several hours. Got all my bubbles off. No Bublé's. No Michael's in my finish. That's the way I like it. That also means, while I'm waiting on that, no making sawdust of any kind. So, I'll be back after a while. Good time to go eat lunch. So here it is. Sign's all finished. I hope he likes it. So thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it again. I say that all the time, and it's true. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share, all that social media stuff. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. I've got albums on both places. And keep coming back and checking out my videos. You never know what we're going to be into here in the Messy Studio. Y'all come back.